At this, the suspect now behind bars this morning accused of killing a young man whose body was found in a bonfire pit near Apache Junction. A detective say 37 year old Anthony Rooneyard was seen leaving a club back on June 11th with the victim, the victim 18 year old Parker League. So video shows the men leaving a Chandler gas station as well and it would be the last time League was seen alive. Now, after this killing, Rooneyard used League's bank card. $20,000 worth of cocaine, more than $6,700 of cocaine base were found in the search of Rooneyard's home. Uh, not sure if that has any connection to um, the bank card, but Rooneyard is now facing several counts, including murder, uh, concealing a body, credit card theft, also drugs and weapons charges. Mason police arrest a man accused of setting fires inside of a Target store, causing millions of dollars in damage. This wow. happened on Tuesday near Southern and Dobson. And police say that surveillance video shows 31-year-old Daniel Hall walking throughout that Target, putting items into a cart before starting the flames. According to police, Hall then tried to smash into a cell phone case using a hammer but didn't break the glass. Police say he stole several other items before taking off. They used his license plate to track him down, but he was already behind bars for an unrelated arrest. A Glendale man was arrested last night, and he's accused of violating Shannon's law. That's the law that prohibits people from firing guns into the air because bullets falling at terminal velocity will kill somebody, and it's happened. Police say he fired more than 100 rounds from his apartment complex around the same time that residents were enjoying 4th of July fireworks. Nicole Garcia joins us live with the story. Nicole. That's right. Shannon's law makes it a felony to fire a loaded gun into the air. It was named after 14-year-old Shannon Smith. She died after a celebratory gunfire. She was just standing in her Phoenix backyard back in 1999. Well, last night, Glendale police arrested a man. He was at an apartment complex near Olive and 59th Avenue. They say that he fired recklessly dozens of rounds from his AR-15 style rifle fired those right into the air. From his brother's apartment balcony, Glendale police say Conrad Means Washington fired more than a hundred rounds from his rifle. Kathy Schmidt lives in the same building and watched the shooting unfold. He popped it off eight times, back in his house, reloaded, came back out, popped it again, went back out in there, reloaded, came back out here, and next thing you see all these cops just surrounded everybody. Although fireworks were going off at the same time, she says the gunshots were obvious. And he was shooting it that away towards, you know, up in the air, but that away. But it doesn't matter. There was kids around, you know, and one of those bullets can turn out and hit a kid. After receiving several 911 calls, Glendale police launched their drone and scoured the scene from above at their crime lab. And that drone was able to go in and safely assess the situation. They were able to locate this individual. When this individual spotted that drone, it was at that point that they decided to flee into their apartment. And that's where our officers were able to pinpoint where they were, start that negotiation. Come out with your hands up. Washington eventually surrendered. Police say he's an ex-military service member with criminal records in Florida and with the U.S. military judicial system. This is a very lucky situation that no child, no adult, nobody was injured throughout this entire case. Um, we were prepared for the worst. And Glendale police crediting new technology, their drone, their crime lab for helping them find that suspect in the apartment complex. That technology wasn't around back in 1999 and according to Phoenix police, no arrests have been made in Shannon Smith's death. Now in this case, although nobody was hurt, Conrad Washington now facing felony charges which could include aggravated assault. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News. We're also learning more about a crash in West Phoenix we brought you yesterday morning. This woman, 26-year-old Miriam Badillo, is facing charges. Police say she was driving under the influence late Wednesday night at about 35th Avenue and Grand when her SUV ran into three pedestrians, killing one. Two others were taken to the hospital. Looks like they'll survive. 
DPS trooper opens fire on a suspect. This happened this afternoon, 22nd Street in Jefferson, and that's where Stephanie Bennett has been throughout the evening. She joins us live with new details. Steph, what happened? John and Ellen, good evening. Yeah, we're just here on Jefferson, just underneath the bridge here of I-10. And DPS, they did just give us an update within this last hour. They said no troopers were injured, but that suspect did suffer a gunshot wound and was transported to the hospital, What but was pronounced deceased. Now, I want you to take a look at the scene right here behind me. It is still very active out here. Uh, now, they say it all started this afternoon around 425. A DPS motorcycle trooper traveling westbound on I-10 near 32nd Street and University exit. They saw a 2017 Mercedes traveling over 90 miles per hour in that 55 miles per hour. Well, it turns out that that car was stolen and had fake temporary tags. Troopers attempted a traffic stop, but the suspect just kept going, now reaching over 100 miles per hour, they say. The suspect then got off and on I-10 at 24th Street and went down a couple wrong way streets. Troopers tried to pit maneuver, but that didn't work. Then the suspect got back on of the interstate and then eventually coming off here at Jefferson towards 22nd Street. Now the suspect then jumped out of the vehicle and a foot pursuit began and at some point troopers say that the suspect produced a handgun and that's when troopers started firing. Now this is the second trooper involved shooting in Phoenix in the last two weeks alone. You may remember on June 19th a trooper was making a traffic stop near 21st Avenue in Thomas when he was shot in the leg but survived his injuries leaving that hospital the same day. We don't know at this point how many troopers uh, fired their weapons. We don't know if the troopers struck the suspect or if the suspect uh, took his own life. Uh, but the suspect was transported to a hospital where he was pronounced deceased. At a Crazy. There was just a bad accident here the other night. And there's always something at this intersection, it seems like. Yeah, for the very latest, stick with Fox 10 both on air and online.